for five to seven minutes. This speaker will address those concerns from his own experiences in his speech titled, What's Wrong With My Internet? Please welcome Mr. Roman Tatarnikov. Oh, oh, thank you, Eleanor, fellow Dostoevsky's. Ah, uh, <clears throat> that problem, when you get an internet and you can't even stream, Netflix spit is down, it keeps buffering, it keeps falling on you, you pick up the phone, uh, you restart your equipment, uh, you pick up the phone, call your provider. Three hours later in the queue, some guy, uh, like, hello, I'm from Houston, and then he dismisses your problem completely. And that's not the whole end of, and that's not the end of the story. In the end, you're gonna receive a bill in your in your box, and you find out that your promotional period expired, and now your price jumps twenty more dollars or something like that. We all experienced that. We all are annoyed by it. So let me go into the reasons why it's happening. Uh, and before I'm gonna go into it, let me warn you: it's gonna get a little bit boring. Not take it, but still. <laughs> anyway. Let's focus on three things, speeds, emergency services, and competition. Speeds, you pay for like 100 megabits. That's not what you're paying for. Look at the actual bill. It says up to. In Netflix normally takes like 25 megabits. The fact that it's in the highest quality, the fact that it's failing on you, means you're not getting it. You're not even getting 25. Up to 100? It's like going on a freeway, the speed limit is 65, good luck reaching it on your tricycle. Or even better, you're driving Ferrari, good luck stuck on 405 in, the, in the traffic. That's the speeds. Well, you might say, and maybe it's because of emergency, because of emergency services. Those providers, they need to care about them. Not really. Let me dive in, dive into that. Since we're in California, we do have wildfires. In the two articles, the San Francisco Chronicle posted, one of them is named, Reports Explaining Cell Internet uh, Failures Amid California Fires, and the other one is named PG&E Outages, The Thousands Without Internet Phone Service. If you look at those articles, they will tell you that even uh, different counties haven't had emergency alerts via the phone system, even it's up to them, because they don't trust it. Then, in certain counties, whenever you would dial 911 on your cell phone, it wouldn't connect you. Here's an interesting thing about it. Even if you dial any phone number, your phone says, yeah, I'm connected to the cell tower. And the cell, cell tower ends up going to a data center, and data center is out of power. So essentially, a big portion of land is without any communication. Well, why does it happen? FCC uh, pretty much forces everyone to make sure that 911 is always available. Here's the trick. Uh, if you go into mail archives of North American Network Operators Group, you will find that they actually complain about a loophole. FCC forces uh, it to, it for anyone to provide service to 911, so you can dial it only on pots, plain old telephone service. So you know that phone with, with a wire going into the wall? Many people don't use it. So if you're in a business and you're using uh, internet services, or on a cell phone, you're technically not covered by this law. Okay, so you're annoyed at the speed, so the emergency service is not being provided, let's switch provider to do something else. Well, let's lighten up. We, there are so much depressing stuff that I just mentioned. So let's go and check out Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. In 2014, he made a piece on net neutrality. And there he mentions 96% of the population has a 
most two wireline providers. And he mentions that Spectrum and Comcast don't compete with each other. They divide territories. Comcast is in San Francisco and Spectrum is in LA only. So we're living pretty much in a monopolized market. So how can we change that? Well, you can either start your own ISP or find some local uh, internet service provider and support them. Pretty much the provider that focuses on a community. And uh, just go from there. And remember, it's all up to you. If you, if you can't find anyone or start your own ISP, reach out to, to your congressman or senator and force them to actually look into uh, the monopoly situation on the market. And, oh man, I should have put like 10 minutes for the speech. Well, for now it's over. Thank you, Eleanor. <laughs>